Mmm, what's better than a delicious piece of fruit? You're right, Debo. Vegetables are yummy too. Hmm, I wonder, what's the difference between fruits and vegetables? Super suggestion. We'll go into that garden to figure it out. I'm gonna need wings and a grabber arm. Wings, grabber arm, confirmed. Okie dokie, artichokey. Activate Blippy Station. Shrinking down! The Blippy Mobile is ready for adventure. All right, we're in a community garden where all kinds of fruits and vegetables grow. And look, there's one right now. Step right up. You're the next contestants on Slip Cucumber Certified Fresh Game Show. Fruit or Vegetable. Tell us your names. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. <laughs> Now, Blippi and Debo, a quick review before we start. All fruits have a pit or seeds in them and grow on a plant with flowers. Fruits have pits or seeds and always flowers. Got it. And vegetables are different. There are root and leaves. Got that too. Excellent. Let's play. Tell me, Blippi, is this carrot a fruit? Oh. Ooh, the carrot is a vegetable because it's a root and has leaves. That's right! But can Blippi go two for two? So tell me, is this tomato a fruit or a vegetable? Hmm, this is tough. Okay, a tomato grows from a plant, but it has seeds. It's also a vegetable? Oh, sorry. Tomato is a fruit. Now, your final question, Blippi. Can you tell me if this strawberry is a fruit or vegetable? Strawberry is a, a fruit. Yes, strawberry is a fruit. A you for two correct answers, which means this trophy is all yours. Wow. Thanks, Mr. Slim. And I also have the answer to my question. What's the difference between fruits and vegetables? Vegetables are roots and leaves, and fruits have flowers and a pit or seeds. Upload answer, Debo. Bye-bye, <laughs> Mr. Slim. Congrats to you, Blippi. That's our game. I'm Slim the Cucumber, and by the way, I'm a fruit. Tune in next time for our special guest, Madam Mango, on Fruit of Vegetables. Whoa, Tabs, that bouncy castle is out of this world. Hmm, I wonder, what would it be like to bounce on the moon? Great idea, Tabs. We can go to the moon and find out. I'm gonna need a rocket booster, excavator arm, and frog legs. Jets, excavator arm, frog legs, confirmed. Okay, let's go explore. The Blippi Mobile is ready to blast off for adventure. And there's the moon! <laughs> yeah! Okay, time to land. Hey, that tickles! <laughs> Who are you? My name's Rocky the Moon Rock because uh, I'm a rock. Hey, Rocky. It's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. We're here to find out what it's like to bounce on the moon. Hmm, I never tried it myself, being a rock. But let me see if I can uh, uh, just uh, get up. All right, then let's bounce. Cha, 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 cha. I'm light as a feather up here. I never knew I could have been having so much fun! Woohoo! It's amazing that we're staying up here this long. 
why does it take so long to float down? Because of gravity! It's the invisible force that keeps your moon boots on the ground. It pulls things back down. But, 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 there's way less gravity around the moon than on Earth because the moon is so much smaller. That's why we float for so long. I have the answer to my question. What would it be like to bounce on the moon? It's so fun, and the bounces are really big. Because there's less gravity on the moon than there is on Earth. Upload answer tabs. We feel like we're floating, but gravity is slowly pulling us back down. Cha, 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 cha. Thanks for the greatest time that I, Rocky the Moon Rock, ever had. <laughs> Bye, Rocky. Keep on bouncing, Blippi. <laughs> Whoa. I love chocolate. Just a little bit now and then. Do you love it too, Debo? Oh, right. Dogs can't have chocolate. It hurts their tummies. Hmm. I wonder, how are chocolate bars made? Great idea. We can go into that chocolate factory and find out. I'm going to need wings, hovercraft, and a prop engine. Wings, hovercraft, prop engine confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. <laughs> Shrinking down! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure! Let's go meet some chocolate bars in the chocolate factory. Hey there! <gasps> You're not Cocoa Beans! I need them so we can start making chocolate bars! <laughs> I'm not a bean, it's me, Blippi! And this is Debo! Hi, Blippi! Hi, Debo! <laughs> I'm Barb the Chocolate Bar! Welcome to my chocolate factory. Thanks, Barb. I'd love to see how chocolate bars are made. Can we come with you? Absolutely. It all begins with cocoa beans. <laughs> These beans come from plants. So how do beans become a chocolate bar? <laughs> they go on a little journey. First, a bean bath. Next, our beans get roasty and toasty. Then they get made into teeny weeny beans. <laughs> our bean powder then gets mixed with sugar and milk to make them sweet and smooth. <laughs> Woohoo! Come on, Debo, time to ski. <laughs> no, but it'll be fun. It's Chocolate Bar Debo. After the chocolate is cooled into bar shapes, we wrap them and they're ready. Ta da! Whoa! You both look alike. And I have the answer to my question How are chocolate bars made? Cocoa beans get washed, heated, crunched, mixed with milk and sugar, and then cooled down into a chocolate bar. Upload answer, Debo. Thanks for a sweet tour, Barb. Anytime. Bye, Blippi. Bye-bye. <laughs> Whoa, that bird is carrying lots of twigs. <laughs> right, Debo. She's bringing them to her nest. Hmm. I wonder, how do birds build a nest? Good idea! Let's follow that bird and see if she'll show us. I'm gonna need wings and a grabber arm. Wings, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station! Mobile is ready for adventure. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Debo. Oh no! What happened to your nest? Hi, Blippi and Debo. I'm Jody. My nest was damaged in a storm last night. 
Oh, don't worry, Eggies. Mama's on a mission to rebuild our nest. We were wondering how you build the nest. Well, I could use an extra wing to look after my two eggs. Debo would love to exit. <laughs> oh, thanks, Debo. Now, Blippi, can you come with me to get supplies? Grass, mud and twigs. They're all near Jake's place, so we'll need to keep him busy. Very unfriendly. Let's go. Uh, nice birdie. <laughs> Jody, what's the status of that grass? Grass acquired. Time to get the mud. Mud is landing in the nest. Now all we need are some twigs from the end of this branch. This guy again? Oh, oh thanks, Debo. <laughs> Time to build. First, I make a circle with twigs and grass. Then, add more twig circles higher on top of each other. Whoa, you use your beak to build it. The mud is like glue, holding the nest together. Your nest is fantastic, Jody. And I know the answer to my question. How do birds build a nest? Birds like Jody find natural things like grass and twigs, then use mud to hold it all together. Upload answer, Debo. <laughs> Bye, Blippi and Debo. Thanks for all your help. Bye-bye, Jody. Bye, eggs. Easy rainforest. <laughs> You're right! I bet all kinds of interesting animals are in there. I wonder, what kind of animals live in a rainforest? I'm gonna need spider legs and the grabber arm. Spider legs, grabber arm, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station! The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Wow! This place is so green! They must get a lot of rain here. Yes, we do, actually. Hey! It's me, Blippi. This is Tabs. Hello, I'm Bye. The giant panda bear. Glad to meet you. We want to know what kind of animals live in a rainforest. Can you show us around? Yes, okay, but I am meeting my sister for lunch and I'm always late, so I'd like to be there first for once. We won't be long. Super! Let's go see what we can find. Yeah! Thanks, bye! I do get a little hungry before lunch, so could you help me collect some bamboo on the way? Just for a snack. <laughs> sure! Whoa! This bamboo is as tall as a house! The juiciest shoots are at the top! Would you mind? Whoa! 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 Lovely! Whoa, look! There's a monkey! He's a golden monkey! Hi, Fred! <laughs> Sorry, Fred. All pandas love bamboo. That's all we ever eat, actually. Not even ice cream? Not even ice cream! Unless it was bamboo flavor. <laughs> Could you get me a little more bamboo? All this chewing makes me terribly hungry. Sure thing! There's a nice stalk just there. Whoa, little red bugs. Oh, it's Reese and Fiona. They're red bamboo weevils. Hi, buggies. Oh, no, I'm going to be late again. Sorry, we need to go. Oh, not again. I'm sorry, but I was helping my new friends, Blippi and Tabs. Hello. <coughs> Could I possibly share some of your bamboo, please? Thanks for the tour, Bai. You really helped me answer my question. What kind of animals live in the rainforest? Golden monkeys, red beetles, and giant panda bears who love eating bamboo. <laughs> Upload answer tabs. I think it's time for a snack of our own. <laughs> See you later. Bye-bye, Bai. Look at that snowflake. 
I agree, Debo. Snowflakes are beautiful. Hmm, I wonder, how is a snowflake made? You're right, Debo. We can go up into a cloud and find out. I'm going to need a grabber arm and wings. Grabber arm, wings, confirm. Activate Flippy Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find out how a snowflake is made. We're way up high, and the air is very cold. Isn't it so chill? I'm me. Welcome to my cloud. Hey, it's me, Blippi, and this is Devo. It looks like you're working hard. You're right. I'm a small particle now, but soon I'll be a big snowflake. Can you pass me those big water vapor clouds? The water in the cloud freezes on me, and then I grow more crystals. One snowflake can contain as many as 100 ice crystals! All of those ice crystals sure made you strong, Mimi. Here. Yeah. Go catch, Devo. <laughs> now that I'm heavy enough, I can fall towards the ground. Follow me. Yay! <laughs> Mimi, each time water vapor sticks to you and becomes ice crystals, you get even bigger and more impressive. Thanks. You have six points, same as every other snowflake, but your own one-of-a-kind design. Yep, no two snowflakes are alike. That means there's no one like me. That's why I'm called Mimi. A snowman, perfect. I can land there with the rest of my squad. I did it. Stuck the landing. Way to go, Mimi. And I have the answer to my question. How is a snowflake made? It starts as a particle in the air and collects ice crystals as it gets colder and colder, eventually forming a unique snowflake. Upload answer, Debo. Bye bye Mimi. Bye, Blippi. Hey, it's a garbage truck. I can see it and <laughs> smell it too. Wow, Tabs, even you think it's stinky. And you're a robot. Wait, where's that buzzing sound coming from? Oh, flies. Hey, those flies just flew into the garbage truck. Hmm, I wonder, why do flies love garbage? Good idea, Tabs. We can go into the garbage truck to find out the answer. I'm gonna need wings. Wings confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find out why flies love garbage. Shrinking down. Hold your breath, Tabs. We're going in. I'm in the garbage truck. Welcome! I'm Horace the Fly! Looks like your first time here, hmm? Hi, Horace. It's me, Blippi. This is my first visit to a garbage truck. <laughs> Little stinky, huh? <gasps> Not for me. I love smells. Follow me. I'll show you around. This place is like my playground. <laughs> Whoopsies! Sorry about that. Hey, Horace. Why do flies love garbage? Because it's delicious and garbage makes me fly. We've got stinky beans, moldy cheese, greasy pizza boxes, and even leftover mystery mush. Oops, sorry, must have been the beans. I could give you a ride to the nearest garden or fly restaurant. Horace! Where are you? 
Everything's coming up! Garbage! Oh, is that cake? Oh, no, that was not cake. Still good, though. Gotta dash and eat all the trash. Horace has more energy now. Aha! Which means I think I have the answer to why flies like garbage. It's because they love the smell and they find food there. That's so silly. <laughs> Upload answer tabs. Yes, sir, Bippy. For me, a garbage truck is a 24-7 all-I-can-eat restaurant. Woohoo! Go, Horace. Thanks. Cheers, Blippi! Wow! That's a pretty tall mountain! I'm sure there are way taller mountains, Tabs. Hmm, I wonder, what's the tallest mountain in the world? Great idea, Tabs! We'll go to the Himalayas and find out. I'm gonna need wings and the grabber arm. Wings, grabber arm, confirm. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find the tallest mountain in the world. It's me, Blippi, and this is Tabs. We're looking for the tallest mountain. I'm climbing it right now. Hi, I'm Betty the Yeti. Yeti. I was just headed to the top. That's where the best snow is. <laughs> Nothing worse than old snow. <laughs> Can I tag along? I want to see what it's like on top of the tallest mountain. Of course, but get ready. This mountain is super tall. Woo! Ice! We're up so high, and it's much colder up here. Thanks, Tabs. I love hot cocoa. Whoa! Whoa! Gotcha! Oh. Oh. That was a close one. Hey! It's the mountain top! Yeah! We made it! Oh, whoa! It's so windy up here! I got you, Blippi! So, what is the name of this mountain? It's Tamalangma! Oh, you call it Mount Everest. You're right, Tabs. I have the answer to my question. What's the tallest mountain in the world? It's Mount Everest. It's 29,035 feet tall. Upload answer, Tabs. And the snow up here is delicious. <laughs> <laughs> snow burps. <laughs> Have a good snow snack. Bye, Betty the Yeti. Bye, Flippy. It's so hot out today, but my popsicle is melting down my hand. Hmm, I wonder, why do popsicles melt down my hand? What's that, Tabs? Go into that ice cream truck and ask an expert? That's a great idea. I'm gonna need wings, the excavator arm, and duck feet. Wings, excavator arm, duck feet, confirmed. Activate Blippi Station. The Blippi Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find out why my popsicle always melts down my hand. Shrinking down! I'm in the ice cream truck. Hi, welcome to my neighborhood. I'm Sherry Pop. Glad you popped in. 
Hi, Sherry. It's me, Blippi. I was wondering why my popsicle always melts down my hand. Oh, I know that one. But first, let's have some frozen fun. All right. Woohoo! We're ice cream boarding. <laughs> We're sprinkle sliding. I'm chocolate fudge snorkely. Sherry, are you melting? Yes, I'm melting because I'm very warm. But I'll go cool off in the freezer and I'll be fine in a sec. Mmm, ice cold. How's it going in there, Sherry? It's freezy breezy. Now I'm all set. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, it looks super freezing in there. Yep, it's cool to be cold when you're a frozen dessert like me. My ideal temperature is 32 degrees Fahrenheit, zero degrees Celsius. If I keep cool like that, then I won't melt. Good to know. I see you're like my popsicle from earlier. When it was out of the freezer and in the heat of the blippy mobile, it melted on me. Sounds like your popsicle should have come for a visit. You're right. Which means we have the answer to my question. Why my popsicle melts down in my hand. It's because... Popsicles will melt if they get too warm. That's why we keep them in the freezer. Upload answer tabs. Sherry, thank you for a totally tasty adventure. It was so cool. <laughs> <laughs> Stay cool, Flippy. Bye bye. Gone soon tabs? Great. Since I just finished my fun painting, can you guess what it is? Wow, Tabs, exactly right. It is a penguin holding a cup of tea while rollerblading through a jungle. So many colors. <gasps> Whoa, a rainbow. So many colors. I wonder, how does a rainbow get its colors? Great idea, Tabs. We can fly up and ask the rainbow and find out. But first, I'm going to need wings. Wing confirmed. Let's go explore. Activate Flippy Station. The Blippy Mobile is ready for adventure. Let's go find out how a rainbow gets its colors. Guys and gals, attention please. The big blue sky is proud to present nature's greatest influencer. I'm Bowie the Rainbow. Whoa, hey, it's me, Blippi. I'm a big fan, Bowie. I know all your colors. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I'm very proud of my colors. <laughs> Let me show them off one by one, I don't. Red, orange, yellow, green. Blue, indigo, violet. Wonderful job, Blippi. You know, today's a big day. We're doing a double rainbow showstopper. Oh, you must be part of my performance. Really? I'd be honored, but um, I don't know how you get all your colors. Could you show me? Of course, super fan Blippi. First, let's check out this puffy cloud called a cumulus cloud. Ooh, it looks like it just rained too, which is perfect. That means there are lots of water droplets in the air. Wow, this cloud has so many teeny drops of water. Hashtag true. Okay, next step, position the cloud so the sunlight shines true to water droplets like this. Now, when the light goes true to water, it bends or refracts and separates the light into all the colors of the rainbow. Voila. That is awesome. I think I have the answer to my question. How does a rainbow get all its different colors? It's when... The sunlight shines through water. It bends the light and separates the light into all the colors of the rainbow. Upload answer tabs. A five, six, seven, eight. Wow! Don't forget to like and subscribe. How you doing? All right, see you later, Flippy. Bouncy sand dune. And even bouncier. Wow, what an amazing sandcastle. Wave incoming! 
rain! Oh no! Looks like that castle was no match for that wave. Huh, I wonder, can I build a sandcastle that doesn't get washed away? <laughs> yeah, you're right, Tabs. There is only one way to find out. I need to build a sandcastle of my own. I'm gonna need the excavator arm and spider legs. Excavator arm, spider legs, confirmed. Activate Flippy Station. The Blippy Mobile is ready for action. Let's go make a sandcastle that won't get washed away. Now we need to make ourselves sandcastle size. Drinking down! Feel that cool ocean breeze, Tabs. Whoa! Hi there, I'm Krabby the Crab. Pleasure to meet you. Ooh, crikey, I don't know my own strength. Hi, Krabby. It's me, Blippi. And this is my Blippi mobile. I love it. <laughs> so, you out taking a fun ride? Actually, Krabby, I'm here because I'm curious if I can build a sandcastle that won't get washed away. You came to the right crab. I'm a planner, digger, and a builder. I can help you, Blippi. Great. So, the first thing we're going to do is build a moat. That's a fancy word for a hole. You see, the water goes into the hole and doesn't wash away what's behind it. So, let's dig. <laughs> dig, 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 dig. Wow, what a hole. Now let's build a sandcastle. You're right, Tabs. We are going to need a shovel. Finished. Success. You already built it, Krabby. And our moat is perfect. The moat's the hole we dug all around the sandcastle. Great moat. And best sandcastle ever. Wave incoming! The moat worked, Krabby. This means I think I have the answer to my question. Can I build a sandcastle that doesn't get washed away? I can by making a hole around it to catch the water. Upload answer tabs. Thanks, Krabby. See you later, Blippi. Keep on digging. 